Poyarwar appeared as the incarnation of Perumal Spanchajanya Konch in the Aipasi month Thiruvonam star. He appeared in Thiruvekka in a lotus flower in a pond. In Tamil, the pond is known as Poigai. Hence, he was named as Poigaiyarwar. Thiruvekka is the place near Kanjipuram where Sonnavannam Sai the Perumal resides. Bhudattarwar appeared as the incarnation of Perumal's Kaumodaki Mace in the Aipasi month Avittam star in Thirukkadal Mallai also known as Mahabalipuram in a Kurukkatti flower. Mahabalipuram is the place where Stalasayana Perumal resides. Payarwar appeared as the incarnation of Perumal's Nandakam sword in the Aipasi month Sadayam star. He appeared in Thirumayilai in a red lily flower in a well. Thirumayilai is the current day Mailapur in Chennai. We saw that all these three arvars were born out of a flower. Those are known as Ionijas. That means they were not born out of a mother's womb. What did the three arvars do right after they were born? They were separately thinking about the Lord and moving from one village to another. Seeing this, the Lord decided to grow bhakti through them and hatched a very interesting plot. What was the Lord's plan? Shall we learn it now? First, Poigayarwar reached Thirukkovalur. Because there was a heavy downpour, he went to Mrigandu Munish Ashram. It was a small shed. Only one person can sleep there. Bhudattarwar also had a desire to have darshan of the Lord at Thirukkovalur and he reached there. We saw earlier that it was raining. Because of the rain, he also came to Mrugandu Munivar's ashram. Poigayarwar mentioned that two people can sit and welcomed him. Payarwar also had a desire to have darshan of the Lord at Thirukkovalur. He also left immediately and reached Thirukkovalur and came to Mrugandu Munivar's ashram. The other two mentioned that three people can stand and welcome Payarwar. If it were us, what would we do? We would be talking about something and wasting time. However, these three are great devotees, isn't it? Hence, they talked about the Lord's wonderful pastimes and spent time. Where devotees are, shouldn't the Lord be there? So, the Lord came in as the fourth person and squeezed them all to fit himself in. The other three Arvars wanted to see who is squeezing them. However, there was no lamp. What did they do? They lit the lamps through their compositions. Let us look at their compositions. Poike Arvar lit the lamp with earth as the container, ocean as the ghee and sun as the light. Let us hear how the Pasuram goes. Vayam tagaliya, var kadale nayaga, vayya kadiron vilakaga, saya sudararia nadike, sootin en solmale, idarari ningu gave indre. Buddha Tarwar lit the lamp of wisdom with love as the container, enduring involvement as the ghee, and mind fixated on the Lord as the wick. Now let us look at the Pasuram. Liya Arvame Nayaga In Burga Sinde Idiriya Nan Burginyana Chudar Villa Ketine Naranarke Yana Tamil Purindanan. With the light from the lamps lit by the first two, Payarwar had the darshan of the Lordships and was ecstatic. He described the Lord's beauty as a song. Let us listen to the hymn. Thirukkandeen, ponneeni kandeen, Thigalum marukkani ni niramum kandeen, Serukkilarum ponnaali kandeen, Purisangam kai kandeen, Ennaali vannan palindre. The important thing that we learn from the Mudal Arva's life is lighting lamps. What are the benefits of lighting lamps? 